Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another Handgun Showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturers produce the better handguns. Here we have Taurus versus Rock Island Armory and each of these companies sell guns at the budget price and I think each have a lot of fans out there so this will be a good one. But before I get into that, I have to report the results from the last Handgun Showdown where we matched up Glock versus Springfield Armory and I have to say I have never had a handgun showdown with as much participation as this one They came out in droves fans of each but once it was all done and said Springfield Armory took it It was razor thin and it was a great handgun showdown, but that's how it turned out So we've got a good one today so let's get to it. Let's begin with Taurus and we'll start right here with the little 380 Spectrum. What makes this unique, not only does it weigh just 10 ounces unloaded, but it has these rubber inserts throughout the grip and even where the serrations go. They call it a soft touch and it gives it a nice, nice firm feel on the gun and it has lasted as long as I've owned it. It does come with a seven round magazine. They also have a six round magazine with a flat base plate. 2.8 inch barrel, double action trigger pull, all right, does have restrike capability, integrated sights on the top of the slide, including the front sight there, it's completely snag free, known as a pocket gun, and you know, seven rounds plus one in the chamber, eight rounds of 380 ACP, not bad to slip into your pocket, and it shoots really nice. I, I shoot this really well and very happy with it. But over here we've got the new G3C. It replaced the G2C. It's a third generation. It does have a wider trigger bar safety in there that is nice. It uses the same 12 round magazines except for it has that indentation there that allows you to rip it out of the magwell if needed. But the trigger is very nice single action and you're looking at a reset right there. They now offer front serrations and metal sights that are interchangeable with Glock. They also have a sight hole indicator there and that same grip and the same thumb safety that so many people love with the G2C. And they also have a rail. So they upgraded the G3C and many people who are certainly excited about it. But over here we've got a Taurus Defender 856 revolver with six rounds of 38 special we will accept plus p this is the matte stainless model it does have a rubber grip very comfortable it's an ultralight model so it's very light with a three inch barrel and a tritium front dot with an orange outline that makes for nice night and day sight with that with that front sight tunneled rear sight already mentioned six rounds and a very nice single action trigger pull at the range it's a straight shooter and people wanted a longer barrel 856 and they got it with this taurus defender rock island armory offers a huge line of 1911s and this one in particular i've enjoyed a lot throughout the years this is a tac ultra combo chambered in 22 tcm but it also comes with a nine millimeter barrel and recoil spring you just change those out you even use the same 10 round magazine and it'll fire both just fine five inch barrel front serrations fiber optic front sight adjustable rear sight and g10 grips and that single action trigger pull that 1911 fans just love nice nice setup here i i enjoy the option of shooting nine millimeter or 22 tcm with with that very same handgun but over here we've got a new revolver from Rock Island Armory. This is called an AL 3.0. They also have an AL 3.1 that's all stainless. This is the blued model. These are produced in the Czech Republic, but it's a six shot 357 Magnum. And it has some weight behind it. You can see that it does have the rubber grip, some texturing on there for a nice firm feel. You need that with the 357. Two inch barrel, ramped up, fixed front sight, and a tunnel in the rear. I shoot this very well and I really like the way it performs it's it's heavy duty and it gets at 357 downrange with a in a comfortable fashion but over here we've got the Rock Island BBR 3.10 it's a subcompact 45 ACP 1911 with a 10 round 
Double Stack Magazine. Check that out. With 11 rounds in the firearm, it weighs just over 42 ounces. So it's a beast. And it also has that same single action trigger pull. It has a ported slide and barrel. Right there, you can see that ported slide and barrel. Adjustable rear sights. And a tank. It's thick. It's stout. But it gets the job done. And I don't know many manufacturers that produce a subcompact double stack 1911 and 45 ACP. But Rock Island does with this BBR 3.0. 1 0. Oh. Nice setup, and Rock Island really has some nice firearms in their lineup. So, which company do you feel makes the better handguns? Is it Taurus or is it Rock Island Armory? Be sure to weigh in in the comments, and I'll add them up and report the results back with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.